a year or two back, um, we started looking at a succession plan and, and what do we do to, to continue the firm. And I think, I think the, the situation with Midwest was that you had such a spectrum of people there in terms of where they were in their career. Uh, you had a senior partner that was ready to retire. Uh, you had Norm Klopp, who was probably a year or so away from retirement. And then you had some of us who uh, I'd like to think we're, we're going to be at this for the next 15, 20, 25 years. And uh, it was a unique situation uh, which led us to explore opportunities. And uh, we had a number of suitors come to town uh, to talk with us, uh, but none of those seemed like a good fit, uh, which um, led us to Carnegie. As you're going through this process and you're searching for a new home for your clients, uh, you, you will get a lot of people pursuing you and those are not necessarily good fits. We, we've talked to a number of different situations, your classic roll-up firms, your private equity firms. There, there's something in common with them. If you do a deal with them, you become a profit center and you are forced into their mold and your clients are forced into their mold. What was exciting about joining Carnegie is that that was not the case. They, they have given us the ability to continue to manage our clients' assets the way our clients are, are accustomed to. Uh, we have the autonomy to continue to run money the way we run money. That's why our clients are with us. Our clients trust us. They like the way we manage money. Um, coming to Carnegie, you're not forced to, to change your stripes, basically. And I think that's very appealing. Uh, we have a deeper bench on the investment committee. Uh, we have different styles of investing going on here at Carnegie that, that uh, I myself can tap into and uh, can sort of filter that into my client portfolios. My clients are benefiting from that, that uh, additional insight from a larger investment committee. I see Carnegie continuing to grow and I find that exciting because what I've seen so far, they've pulled together uh, a group uh, you can say of different firms, different people, different backgrounds, and as I, as I mentioned earlier, having those different perspectives is very healthy in the vetting process. I was asked the question many times, is there anything else you need? Do you have what you need? Everybody went out of their way um, to make sure that our clients were taken care of and that we were comfortable and that we were taken care of.